Hello students, welcome to solve this classes. Today we will be solving the question number 3 and 5 from the ISI Amstead question paper of year 2017. We previously solved question number 1 and 2 in the previous videos. Today we will be solving question number 3 and 5. So let us begin with question number 3. In question number 3, it has been said that let A be a 2 cross 2 matrix. So it is a square matrix such that the trace of A is equal to the determinant of A and that is equal to 3. So it has been asked what is the value of trace of A inverse. So basically this function A is uh, the matrix A is invertible. Okay. Now trace. What do you mean by trace? So basically trace of A is um, the trace of any matrix A is denoted by TRA that is equal to the sum of the elements in the principal diagonal. Okay. For sake of simplicity, uh, we will assume A to be a general 2 cross 2 matrix which is of the form A, B, C, D. So it is a 2 cross 2 matrix. So in this case, the principal diagonal, let me denote it by a separate color. Here the principal diagonal is over here. So in this case, so in this case, the trace of A, which is TRA, is equal to A plus D. Also, it has been given that the trace of A is equal to the determinant of A is equal to 3. This implies that A plus D is equal to 3. Uh, let's uh, take some more space below. So now we have been given that A is um, A we already know it is A B C D. So if therefore A inverse is given by 1 by determinant of A and the matrix inside will be D minus B minus C and A which uh, try to remember this um, structural formation then this will be of much help so in this matrix the trace is given by this element and also the determinant of A is outside so when we find out the trace of A inverse it will be D plus A and also the determinant of A since it is outside it will come below and it will be determinant of A so it will be 3 we also know that determinant of A is 3 so the value is 1 and the correct answer is option C let's do the next question which is question number 5 in question number 5 it has been said that the vertices A B C D of a square are to be colored are to be colored with three colors red blue or green so that the adjacent vertices get different colors then what is the number of such colorings and four options has been given so we have to find out uh, the possible number of combination of such colorings so for that let me move the page upwards a bit okay now let's begin so first let us draw any particular square ABCD so a square it is square ABCD now it has been said that the vertices A, B, C and D are to be colored with the colors red, blue and green for uh, red, blue and green and it has been also said that if um, that the adjacent adjacent vertices cannot have the same color. Okay. 
don't have the same color so we will basically use a very easy principle to solve this out so let's begin we will take a case 1 suppose what is A is red colored with red in that case the um, matrices that are adjacent to B that are adjacent to A that those are what is B and what is J B and D can have the following combinations it can be either um, blue both uh, vertices are colored blue or both vertices can be colored green or what is B can be colored green and what is D can be colored blue or it can be the reverse where what is V is blue colored and what is D is green colored Now in this case, if now in this case, when the vertices B and D are both colored blue, then the vertices B, uh, the remaining vertices which is vertice C, can have two options. Now it has two options. It can either be colored red, or it can be colored green. Similarly, in this case, when vertices B and D are colored both colored green in that case C can have C can take color red or color blue now if B and D are colored in the sequence of green and blue then the remaining vertice which is vertice C can only take red and in this case if vertice B is blue and vertice D is green then the vertice C can only take red color so basically here we have two choices here we have two choices and in this case we have one and one so let me insert one more page let me change, change the pay, uh, background okay so if a is red colored then total choices is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 and that is equal to 6 but there are three colors red blue and green so total choices of coloring will be 6 into 3 that is equal to 18 and so the option A is the correct option so today we have solved question number 3 and 5 from the ISI Amstrad question paper of year 2017 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos so keep watching Sorofsa's videos for more solutions and all the best for the upcoming exams thank you